Fashion Wednesday, it is time to talk makeup now, and in particular bridal makeup, with makeup artist Kelly Sanford. Kelly, thank you for joining me on Good Living. How are you? Good, thanks, Megan. I know you've been really busy. I mean, summer's always a, a popular a time of year for weddings, isn't it? Yeah, it's a perfect day for any any day's a perfect day for any a wedding. Any day's a perfect day for a wedding. How long have you been doing um, wedding makeup for? It's been about five years now. Mm. Yeah, and I love every minute of it. Is it stressful? No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Because everything's done. Everything's planned and I always do a trial with my brides beforehand and the day just goes smoothly because it, there's nothing else for the bride to do but get ready and make herself look beautiful. Yeah, and that's what you're there for, isn't it? Now, there's a couple of wedding expos coming up, I think, next weekend. So we thought it's timely to start talking about um, a bridal makeup for any brides at the moment who are perhaps watching. Can you give us some tips? What should we what should we look for in a, a bridal makeup artist? Well, it's really important to um, choose someone. Ha have a look. They'll obviously maybe have a website. Have a look and see how long they've been doing it for. Um, definitely with the website, you can have a look at different pictures that they've got. I've got some pictures here mm, that mm. I brought in with me. And I think also having a trial, it'll create a look perfect for each individual bride. Because I guess do a lot of brides come to you not knowing how they want to look? They just know they want to look their best and is it common for them to say just make me look beautiful? Oh definitely, definitely and you've got to enhance their features and everyone's really different with whether they want to go for a smoky eye or whether they want to go for a really natural look that's just going to enhance what they already have. Mm. So talk to us about what we should be doing perhaps. Let's start from, is it we're six months out that we should be start preparing? I think so as well and especially with the skincare, I think the skincare is really really important so work within your budget, cleanse, tone, use a moisturiser during the day that's going to have an SPF in it and you know your your skin is going to look radiant on the day and the longer that you leave it, or the, sorry the longer that you actually start preparing the skincare the better it's going to be on the wedding day as well. Yeah so that's really important. Yeah and um, if you can't afford a facial then maybe go and get a deep cleansing mask if you've got oily skin or if you've got really dry skin, maybe a hydrating mask once or twice a week, exfoliate as well once or twice a week, and all those little things will make a huge difference on the wedding day. So it's really important, I guess, to start getting into those good habits and, and not start doing it, you know, two weeks before the wedding and thinking, oh, I haven't done anything. Start planning start for planning your skincare. Early. Okay, so that's at about the six month mark. What should we be doing heading a bit closer to the big day? Well, just prepare. Um, I, I think hair and makeup are definitely important, so speak to your hairdresser as well and make sure that you know you're going to get the colour right and um, grooming with your eyebrows for example making sure that they're going to be in the perfect shape because quite often we all keep plucking and <laughs> one's always a little bit uneven so it's really important a couple of months beforehand to definitely go and see a beauty therapist and get your eyebrows even mm -hmm. so that because they're just such an amazing feature on your face as well and they really do open up your eyes. Yes that's right um, and then heading a bit closer to like maybe perhaps a month or a couple of weeks out? Yeah um, definitely keeping up with your um, with your facials mm. and you know uh, pampering yourself like whether that be like going for a massage as well just taking really good care of yourself like e eating really well drinking lots of water all those wee things make a huge difference and I guess too I mean it's very common for brides they want their, their body to look the best so perhaps they're losing weight up until that day and that will change their face shape and everything as well won't it definitely okay definitely. so they need to you know just make the most of their skin and yeah. things like that's happening just take you know 10 20 minutes in the evening and really take care of your skin like make sure you're you wash off all your makeup at night you know put a really nice moisturizer on and just take care of just little things will make little steps will make a huge difference and on the day obviously the brides want their makeup to last for the photos right throughout the night don't they how do you do that well um, it's all in the makeup application and also the products that you use mm -hmm. so just making sure that um, and that, that's important with the trial as well that you come and have the trial and see how long the makeup lasts but the make any makeup or makeup artist should be able to put on the makeup early in the morning and it'll still look good 10 hours later. Right, so you're absolutely fine there with no problems. And I know that you specialise in doing makeup for such a wide range of ages as well because everyone's getting married at different ages these days, aren't they? Definitely. You've got 18 year olds getting married and you've got I've got a bride there who was in her 60s so it's great it's special anytime it's fantastic isn't it yeah. do you do also makeup for like perhaps mothers of the bride the bridesmaids you, ca you can cover everybody definitely and definitely. here too I know that you can do that as well yeah you're very talented yeah. and I think it's really important for the mothers of the bride as well because they're in a lot of the photos as well and the photos are what is going to be on your wall forever so mm. everyone wants to look good on a wedding day oh, they absolutely do everyone wants to look their best Kelly thank you so much some no really worries. good advice there I just love talking about 
uh, weddings and makeup. Could sit here for hours doing it's that. Exciting. Yeah, it is. And good luck with the wedding events coming up in a couple of weeks' time. That is Kelly Sanford Makeup Artist. Have a look at her website as well. It's kellysanford.co.nz. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you. Now, do stay with us after the break. Michelle from Vivacious is here. And this time we're talking about accessories. Vivacious have such a fabulous range. They've brought in just a little bit to have a look at after the break.